Hey guys, are you experiencing water pressure like this? Where it drops down and it goes down like that. Very low water pressure. And then in the shower. And then the shower looking like that, where it's just dripping down and you have no pressure and it takes a while to build it up. And your sink as well. Comes out good, but then goes down. Well, those low water pressures generally originate from three different causes. If you're only being affected in one for say the sink or the shower or you know your toilet or something there's going to be more than likely a blockage at that one place for example if you're only having trouble at the sink you can take this deal off right here and you will find that there is a filter okay and sometimes you'll find trash up in there but if you're being affected in every single output of water meaning your shower your sink and your toilet and and everything generally it has to do with your main water supply the thing that usually goes out the most is your water pressure regulator a lot of people overlook this uh, but generally it's the main cause because it is meant to drop down pressure and once you start to go bad they start to drop down too much pressure another cause will be this rv filter if you don't change it out uh, over an ex extended period of time it will clog up and it will lower down your pressure but generally this is your problem okay so here we got this uh this regulator here and it marks fine and that can trick you you know it, it can make you believe that that you do not have a problem easiest way to test this is remove the regulator and put on the hose directly to your feed um, if you don't want to just go out and buy another one uh, but you could test it that way and then if you have max pressure well then you know that hey this guy is uh is no longer doing its job correctly now it's it's regulating it down way too much so to replace it, it's just as simple as closing up your water supply right here and start unscrewing, which I'm going to need two hands for this, but start unscrewing this guy and then unscrew this one, replace it with your, with your new one, and then go check the water. All right, so out with the old, in with the new. Now let's open it up and let's walk inside. Okay, we are now back in here. It might spit and sputter the first time, but look at that pressure. It no longer drops down before it would drop down at some point along the line after replacing your regulator it is going to spit and sputter because there is a trapped air pocket along the way there so it might do that so don't freak out let it all just bleed out good pressure in our shower and good pressure in our sink see that so if you have low outlet pressure in all your outlets chances are your main inlet, which is regulated by the regulator, is what the main problem is. Thank you guys for watching, and I really hope this helped you out. Until next time, stay safe.